Hi boys and girls, have you ever wondered where milk comes from? Or how we get milk into this carton for you to drink with your breakfast and lunch? And why milk is so healthy for you? Milk, leche. My name is Zephyrin and I'm here with Brandon, Kim and Tracy and we're your mobile dairy classroom instructors. Together we'll explore these questions as we learn about cows and how they produce healthy, delicious milk and dairy foods for you and your family. Who can guess what's inside this trailer? A cow! This is a Holstein. There are six major breeds of dairy cattle. The black and white Holstein, the brown and white Guernsey, red and white milking shorthorn, dark brown Swiss, reddish brown Ayrshire, and the light brown Jersey. Dairy cattle, vacas lecheras. Holsteins are the most popular breed of dairy cattle. They make the most milk. A cow like her in one day will give us eight to 10 gallons of milk all by herself. On the other hand, the smallest, the Jersey, only makes about six to seven gallons of milk, but her milk has more cream and protein in it. They make the best cheese. Cows are mammals, just like us. Mammals, mammiferos. They walk on four legs, we walk on two. On each leg, she has four toes. Her two big toes are called her hooves. Hooves, pezuñas. Two little toes off to the side are her dew claws. Her hooves are made of the same material our fingernails are made of. They're just thicker, stronger, and denser. In order to keep her hooves healthy, they get trimmed by a hoof trimmer, just like you would cut your fingernails. In the back, she has a built-in fly swatter, which is her tail. On her side, there's a bone sticking out. Those are her hip bones. Can you guys point to your hip bones? Up to her side, we see her ribs. She has 13 ribs on each side, 13 and 13 for a total of 26. Her ribs protect her heart, her lungs, her kidney, her liver. We see her big shoulder, and then we get to her head. On the very top of her head, she has a bump. That is called the pole. She has a nice poof of hair growing out of it, but what's missing? What should be growing out of her head? The horn. She is missing her horns. She should have horns. For safety reasons, we stop the horns from growing. Both male and female cattle grow horns. On the side of her head, she has a nice big pair of ears. On each ear, she has a tag. This is her ID tag. When we go to our computers, we can type in her number and all of her information comes out. When she was born, how much food she eats, and especially how much milk she makes. On the side of her head, she has nice, big, beautiful eyes. This allows her to see in all directions without moving her head. Now, boys and girls, let's review about the cow. This black and white cow is called a... Holstein. The toes on the cow's legs are called her... Hooves. The tag on the side of her ear is called an... Ear tag. Cow's eyes are on the... side of her head. Just like people, cows need nutritious food and water to stay healthy. Cows eat a combination of hay and grain. This is called a total mixed ration, TMR. This hay and grain is placed in a truck that acts as a big blender. The corn is steamed and rolled, making it easier for the cow to absorb the energy. The driver follows a special recipe and combines the hay and grain. He knows how much food to put in by watching a scale on the side of the truck. Once the feed is prepared, the farm helper delivers the food to the cows. Cows are herbivores. Herbivore, herbivoro. This means they are plant eaters. Here's how it works. Energy from the sun is absorbed by the plant. The cows eat the plant and drink water to break down the food. Her body absorbs the energy and goes down to the udder where milk is made. We drink the milk and that gives us energy and great nutrition. Cows have a total of 32 teeth in their mouth, 24 large molars in the back, eight incisors in the front on the bottom and no top front teeth. She uses her molars to grind her food from side to side. Cows are ruminant animals. 
This means they have one large stomach with four different compartments. A cow begins by chewing her food. She swallows and it travels into the first two compartments. These are the rumen and reticulum. This is a big water tank. The food moves from side to side and it gets soft. Now, the cow burps up the food, she regurgitates, and chews it for a second time. We call this chewing her cud. This enables the cow to digest foods that people can't eat like hay and cottonseed hulls. She now swallows her cud, and these smaller pieces move to the third and fourth compartment, the omasum and the abomasum. This special digestive process allows cows to produce delicious and naturally nutritious milk. Cows eat a combination of hay and grain. A plant eater is called an herbivore. Cows have how many teeth? 32. 24 of them are molars and eight are incisors. Cows have one stomach with four compartments. When a cow chews her food for a second time, she is chewing her cud. Dairy farmers take great care of their cows. Healthy cows produce great quality milk. It's important to understand why a cow produces milk. Here's how a cow grows up. At the age of one, a cow is full grown. She is this tall at the age of one. At the age of two, a cow has her first calf and that's when her body starts to produce milk. Cows can have one calf each year. If this cow has a male, we call the males bull calves. If this cow has a female, we call the young females heifer calves. When a heifer grows up, she becomes a mother. We call her a cow. A cow can have one calf each year and can sometimes have twins. Now, a cow like this produces milk and works hard for 10 months. In those 10 months, we call the cow a fresh cow. The two months that are left in the year, the cow gets a vacation where they do not produce any milk for those two months out of the year. All right, boys and girls, uh, before I show you how to milk the cow, if you could just raise your hand from where you're sitting to show me if anybody from the group already knows how. A couple of you? All right, looks good. All right, so on the count of three, what I'd like for you to do is to show me what it would look like if you were to come up to milk the cow. All right, count of three, here we go. One, two, three, go. Something like this. Most of you look like you're driving a tractor. Are we driving tractors or milking cows? Milking cows. All right. So a cow produces milk from her udder. Udder, ubre. A cow has one udder with four teats. All right, let me show you the proper way to milk a cow. Can you guys raise your hands up? Great job. All right, now with one of your hands, I want you to make a fist. And with that fist, I want you to give me a thumbs down, just like that. Now we're gonna pretend, take your free hand up here, and let's wrap it around our thumb. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our fingers. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks, and then I want you guys to help me by counting and rolling your fingers down. So here's how it looks. Ready? Here's how it looks. Watch first. One, two, three, four. Count with me and roll your fingers down. Go. One, two, three, four. As you get better, go a little faster and faster, faster. Now add some milk sound effects. Here we go. Ready? Good job. All right. Would you guys like to see a little squirt of the cow's milk? Yes. Yes. All right. So again, the cow produces milk in her udder. She has one udder with four teats, okay? So do you think it's that easy just rolling my fingers down? No. You guys want to find out? All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, what was that? Milk. milk. Now, if we were to milk this cow by hand, it would take us 40 minutes, all right? At dairies, they use a machine, and the machine is called the milking claw. Now, the milking claw saves the dairy farm lots of time. Dairy cows are milked two to three times a day in what is called a milking parlor. Cows enter the wash pen where they get cleaned by a sprinkler system. Then they dry off as they wait for their turn to be milked. Remember, milk is stored in a cow's udder. 
Under the udder are teats, and this is where the milk comes out. A special liquid called a sanitizer is spread on the teats to clean them, and their teats are wiped dry. Next, the farmer attaches a milking machine called a milking claw to the cow's teats. The cows enjoy being milked. It takes about 10 minutes to milk a cow. After milking is done, the milking machine automatically stops. The cow's teats are dipped into a special sanitizer that stays on to protect them. Because of the care they receive, these healthy cows produce many gallons of quality milk to make nutritious dairy foods. Boys and girls, what did you learn about lactation? The only way a cow can make milk is if she has a calf. A cow makes milk for 10 months of the year. A dairy cow makes milk in her udder. A cow is milked two to three times a day. The milk goes from the udder through the milking claw and piped immediately to a very large refrigerated bulk tank at the dairy. Milk is warm when it comes out of the cow, about 100 degrees, but is quickly cooled to about 40 degrees in the bulk tank. The milk is loaded each day into a large truck that transports it to a processing plant. Milk is tested for safety and quality before it goes into the truck and again when it arrives at the processing plant. The milk is then pumped from the truck into the processing plant. At the processing plant, milk is pasteurized, pasteurizada, and homogenized, homogeneizada. The pasteurization process heats the milk to 160 degrees for 16 seconds to keep our milk safe. The milk you drink at school is always pasteurized. At the processing plant, milk is also homogenized. This means milk is forced through small holes to break it into smaller particles. If milk is not homogenized, the cream will separate out and float to the top. Finally, milk is packaged into bottles and cartons or made into other dairy foods you love, such as cheese and yogurt. Boys and girls, what did you learn about processing? The milk is transported to a processing plant where milk is made into delicious dairy foods. At the processing plant, milk is heated to 160 degrees during pasteurization for safety. Homogenization breaks up the cream in the milk so that it doesn't separate out. Milk is used to make dairy foods like cheese and yogurt. At last, the milk and dairy foods like yogurt and cheese are shipped to grocery stores, restaurants, and your school. They arrive from the farm in just two days, so that makes milk a local food. So when you buy and drink milk, you're supporting your local farmer and getting a drink and a food that's healthy for you. Did you know that milk from cows and dairy foods like yogurt and cheese are really healthy for your bodies? Here's why. Milk and dairy foods have protein to build strong muscles. They have carbohydrates for lots of energy and they have calcium and vitamin D to build strong bones and teeth, and a lot more. To get all these essential nutrients that your bodies need, you need just three servings of milk and dairy foods a day. Here's one example of what that would look like. For breakfast, you can put milk on your cereal. At lunch, you could have a string cheese or have cheese on your sandwich. And after school, you could have yogurt as a snack. That's three servings of milk and dairy foods. So think about it. Which dairy foods do you think you'll have today for your three servings? So milk and dairy foods Leche y productos lácteos are just one of five food groups Cinco grupos alimenticios on USDA's MyPlate. MyPlate reminds us to eat foods from five food groups to be healthy and strong. So in addition to the milk and dairy food group, we have vegetables, verduras, fruit, frutas, grains, especially whole grains, granos, 
and protein. Proteína. Like meat, beans, and nuts. Also to keep healthy, we should keep our bodies moving for at least 60 minutes a day, doing activities like running, dancing, skipping, and basketball. Boys and girls, what did you learn about nutrition? The protein in milk helps us build strong muscles. The carbohydrate in milk gives us energy to study and play. The calcium in milk helps us build strong bones and teeth. Eating healthy means exercising and eating from these five food groups. Grains, protein like meat, beans, and nuts, fruits, vegetables, milk, and dairy. Now you know a lot more about cows and how milk gets from the cow to your milk carton and how milk helps you to grow healthy and strong. So the next time you're drinking your milk, eating your yogurt and cheese, remember, milk is a natural product that comes from a... Dairy cow! The Mobile Dairy Classroom video was provided by the Dairymen of California. Since the 1930s, the Mobile Dairy Classroom has been connecting children to agriculture and teaching them about where their milk comes from. The Mobile Dairy Classroom is the original farm to school program. For more information about our nutrition education programs and resources, please visit our website at healthyeating.org.